you may have noticed a lot less traffic congestion on the major streets of Las Cruces, including, let's say, for example, the intersection of Loman Avenue and Nacho Drive. A little relief, thanks in part to the new traffic management center and to traffic engineers who monitor and regulate the flow of traffic. Yeah, the eight monitors show uh, the traffic out at the intersections. Uh, what they'll be showing the, the technicians and the engineers is um, the traffic patterns that are occurring and it'll also help them be able to manage traffic when they make changes out. Uh, in the in in the office and then be able to see it in the field. This is a look at several intersections along Loman Avenue. Green showing a live green light and red showing a live red light. The city recently invested almost a million dollars into the new center so far with assistance from NMDOT. Cameras and fiber optic lines tie in to connect all this information to one location. Um, currently, we are able to view about 10 on East Loman, uh, two north on North Valley and a few up on the East Mesa. But the plans are in the future to have all of the intersections that the city manages um, within the system. In the future, these monitors will allow engineers to respond in the event of accidents, construction zones, or anything which creates irregular traffic patterns. And if we know what's going on, the, the adjacent intersection, we can change not only the intersection at the, the uh, intersection has a problem, but we also can change the adjacent plus even further. As the city grows, more traffic information will have to be updated. And as more lights come online, these costs will grow. We need a lot of money to do it because the inf without the infrastructure upgrade, it is impossible to bring it because in order to bring the, the real-time image to the, the traffic, uh, traffic control center, we need the fiber optic cable. With safety in mind, the number of people who can make these changes are limited to only a handful because they need to know the laws and they have to anticipate the effect changes could have on the traffic in adjacent intersections. For City Beat, I'm Jennifer Martinez.